Hi everyone, right now I'm in Parachi in Brazil and it's been my very first day birding. Now, birding, I know it sounds like it shouldn't be a verb, but it is. Um, it's basically the hobby or the activity of going out to look and discover different species of birds. Um, I've never birded seriously before, I don't know much about it, I mean I'm happy to look at a bird if I see one, um, but today I did it proper hardcore. Um, apparently throughout our entire group we've seen over 80 species in a single day which is a crazy amount to see. Um, we saw some parrots, some one called tree cladia, um, we saw lots of tangers, tanagers, um, which are a Brazilian type of bird that are very very colourful. Um, and I thought I'd share some of the things I've learned. I don't really know much about it, so I don't really know whether my beginner tips are that good or not. Um, but it's very helpful to have a binoculars, uh, a set of binoculars, or a friend who's got a set of binoculars. Um, the major tip is you need to find the bird first with your eyes, and that can be the hardest bit. Um, so something I've noticed people do in order to, to find the bird is they do a playback of the call, which often makes the bird call or maybe move or fly around and that makes it a little bit easier to detect in the first place because when it's stuck amongst the foliage it's really hard to spot. Once you've spotted the bird you've got to look at it and then get out the binoculars and immediately bring them up and look at where you were looking. Some binoculars are better than others, you've got to quickly adjust the focus ring and try and find where you were. Some backgrounds are a lot harder to work with than others. But anyway, I've had variable success, but I do think I've seen the birds that I definitely wanted to see the most, and the ones that are apparently labelled as rarer. Um, on top of that, because we were walking through the woods and the forest, um, I have also been bitten by just about everything. You can probably, well, this is a rash from, I was wearing makeup the other day and my makeup remover caused a rash on my face so that was helpful. Um, I've got a few random bites. I don't actually know what's caused these bites because I know they're not mosquitoes because that's what a mosquito bite looks like on me. This one's quite fresh and that's why I've got this on. It's definitely pretty warm but I don't need it. Um, and the worst one is I was bitten by a tick and that's what it looks like right now. I was also bitten on the other leg as well. Um, that one, I didn't actually see the tick, I just saw the blood at the end, so I assume it's a tick bite. Um, there is nothing where the other one bit, so hopefully I don't have limes, I'll get checked out anyway. Speaking of ticks, look at that, look at what's feeding on my thesis belly. So the one I pulled off was way bigger, cough tick, was way bigger than that one, um, bye bye. Yeah, so I just pulled off another tick from my belly. Um, actual ticks, not the ticks that I do that don't have a K on the end. Um, so when I was pulling off the other one, I was told, is it a big one or a small one? I thought it was pretty small because I know that some ticks can get pretty large, um, but that one was very tiny compared to the big one. So I hope I've not left any mouth parts behind in the other one. Oh well. And then finally, I feel I should show you the best bit, which is the view because um, you're seeing me, but you're not seeing what I'm seeing, which is, look at that! Oh my god, how cool! Oh. <laughs> There's a spider attached to the camera. Anyway, I'm not really sure what this video is, it's some kind of vlog, I guess. Um, don't really know what the point of it is, I just fancied shooting something um, whilst I was out here and, you know, show off all of these random rashes and bites that I'm sporting. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you ever go birding, I hope these tips are helpful. And yeah, that's it from me for today. Bye!